Hi everybody, it's a Fragrant Jock here with another Honest Opinion. Today's Honest Opinion is on uh, one I got the other day. It's one of the Ferraris. Uh, it's Ferrari Cedar Essence. It's from the Essence line. Um, this is a 2014 concoction and it was the master perfumer behind this was female called Natalie Fusthair. Um it's a hundred MLs. Uh, there's four in this line I believe. There's obviously this, the leather, the musk and vetiver. I've got the leather one that's quite good reviews um, and they're reasonably cheap. I got this for £27. Um, I think I got the leather for about the same price. I don't know if the leather's discontinued. You can buy them in a, a kind of sample pack, 10 mLs. I think for anybody trying these, I would suggest that it's probably the best bet. I think the, the sample pack's about 20 quid online if you shop around. Um, just some of the history behind this. I mean, obviously, it's connected to the car man, uh, the cars. Enzo obviously started the business in 1929, but in 1999 they went in a new direction and the brand first came out with their first fragrance. That was when they came out with it. I think it was concocted in uh, 1995, uh, but in 1999 they, came, they launched it. It was The first one was uh, Ferrari Black. Um, their philosophy was that they wanted everybody that obviously couldn't afford a Ferrari, but they could afford a fragrance to have a piece of Ferrari, um, which is a good thing because most of us will never own a Ferrari, but we can afford the fragrance. So I suppose that's a good way of putting it. Um, some of the notes in this, the top notes, it's classed as a woody aromatic. Uh, some of the top notes in it are orange, mint and lime. Mid are cedar needles, sea notes, watermelon, the base is cedar, patchouli, coffee and amber. As I say, it's 100 mLs. I got it for about 27 quid, shopped online. You'll get it anywhere. They've collaborated with a lot of perfumers. Um, obviously, this is uh, Natalie Fusserf's, Feistour, I think it is, I'm pronounced. She's obviously German. Um, but they've collaborated with the likes of Albert, Alberto Morellas, who I think done... Uh, Office One, I think he done Jeremy Fragrance's stuff, and he's done quite a few, uh, f uh, you know, very popular um, scents, but Jeremy Fra Fragrance used him for his, uh, he's a perfumer behind the Office for Men, the Date for Men and all that stuff. Anyway, what do I get out of this? Got it in my hand now. <laughs> See, to be honest with you, I think this is when it starts off, it's very fresh. You get the orange and you get the lime. And it's quite sweet. But when it settles, it's very, very similar to Dior Sauvage. Very similar, I think. In manos and my skin, it's very similar to Dior Sauvage. But that's what I get out of it. As I say, for the price, I mean, Dior Sauvage, if you consider Dior Sauvage, the EDP is probably about £60 for... Um, was it sixty pound for fifty mLs, or sixty mLs are about fifty pound uh, out of most places? So I suppose it's a bit of an alternative. I'm not saying it's exactly like it, but it's very similar to it. It's got the same kind of when it settles, it's got the same kind of smell as Dior Sauvage. But it is, it's really for this type of season and this weather, it, it's quite nice. I think most of the essence line is quite nice. I've not I've not tried the vetiver or the musk. I'll maybe get my nose round day two. But as I say, it's another alternative. I mean, I think out of all the car companies, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Ferrari are the probably the best fragrances um, car company. I think second to them is probably Mercedes, because um, I've tried a few others. I've done a kind of. Um, just a fun one with my son. It's on one of my videos. Uh, we were. It was a 
kind of competition between Ferrari and Lamborghini, and Ferrari won no bother. I think it was Ferrari Leather Essence I was doing. Lamborghini I've tried. I got it out of TJ Maxx or something like that. You know what I mean? For an extremely expensive car, their fragrances are basically, well, they're very cheap, and they're quite cheap and nasty, but they're okay. My son liked it, and he bought it, and that's fine with me. It was only seven quid or something like that. He saves them as well, but this is quite worthwhile. As I say, this, the Essence line is quite a good line, and this is no exception. Um, really good for this weather, and it's very similar to, to Dior Sauvage. Anyway, just a quick honest opinion. I hope everybody's safe, well, and enjoy the public holiday. Bye for now.